Hello everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler and this is 8-Drop Eldrazi. And as a matter of fact, if you're hearing this, that means I've overcome the computer difficulties. It turns out sometimes the computer doesn't want to work with you. But if you're hearing this, it means all turned out well. It just took me a while to fix it. Um, that's, how, that's how I spent my night. So you know how I'm going to make myself feel better? I'm going to cast some 8-Drop Eldrazi on people. So what is this deck? This deck is pretty crazy actually. Um, if I vote a league, Abundant Maw... This is barely playable and limited. It was actually probably pretty good and limited, but it's a uh, abundant maw. Uh, emerge costs is seven. It costs eight. Otherwise, six four. When it, you cast it, target opponent loses three life. You gain three life. And distended mind bender. Emerge cost of seven. Five five. When it casts it, look at opponent's hand. Exile a card with convert man costs four or more and a three or less. So we want to cast these cards. Emerge, by the way, is you can cast it for its emerge cost if you uh, pay. Uh, the emerge cost, and which is less than the retail cost, and sacrifice a creature. So the way it works is sort of how you'd expect, right? If we sacrifice a matter reshaper, for instance, three, then it means we have to pay four more. So that works out pretty well if you go matter reshaper on turn three and, you know, play one of these on turn four. That is certainly a thing. Now, how are we going to make that even better? We're going to play Heartless Summoning. Um, it's pretty good in this deck. For starters, it doesn't kill any of our creatures. And moreover, it means that now instead of seven, it costs five. So if you go turn two Heartless Summoning, you can go uh, turn three, play one of these two guys, right? Matter Reshaper, great to sacrifice. Eternal Scourge, great. You should exile it from your graveyard with Relic Progenitus. Cast it from exile to, to do it again. Um, uh, but then you get to emerge these guys for even cheaper. So you thought we're talking to Ascended Mindbenders on turn four here, right? That's, that is... The plan. It's uh, pretty good. And as a matter of fact, you can sometimes even do it on turn three, right? If you have uh, two Eldrazi temples, so you use one to pay this. Now you have uh, four mana left in your pool. Well, that is enough thanks to the emerge cost of these things. So this is really crazy nut draws here. Um, and to, to Sid to Mindbender, by the way, is a complete blowout. But Matter Reshaper, Eternal Scourge, those are the fuel. Dismembers the removal, Heartless Summonings, Comp Pieces, Relic of Progenitus. Good in general, but also uh, we can exile Eternal Scourge with this to uh, replay it. Mindstone, uh, I added this in. A little more ramp, just another piece that does something. You can cycle later if you need it to. And of course, Thought Not and Reality Smasher, because after all, we are an Eldrazi deck. Uh, so onto the, the land base here. Essentially, we're a mono black deck on the main deck, but we do have red man in here. We get Cavern of Souls. We get four Field of Ruin. Pretty good with all the Tron decks running around. Uh, Urborg, so on, ways you can search for. But we have the red for the cyborg. You need some help with this for the cyborg. And that's where we have By Force for the artifact decks. Causal X Return. We need to wipe the board. Crumble to Dust for Tron. Uh, and then basically what you expect. Engineered Explosives, clean things up. Graph Digger's Cage for, eh, you know, Snapcaster, Coco, etc. Collective Brutality for Burn. And where you just need Duress Effects. And Trinosphere for Storm. That's the deck. It's pretty fun. If I vote a league, New Modern is... Just as good as Old Modern was, and this deck is great. Also, it's just hilarious to cast Ascended Mindbender on turn three. So, there you go. That's the deck, everybody. 8-Drop Eldrazi. Thank you for watching. Let's see how it goes.